Okay ladies, so I promised you that I would do um, an organizer with my own instructions so that we know that they're going to be pretty good. I'm not saying, you know, I'm the best, but like, I like to try things out and make sure that they're okay. Sometimes I just go off the cuff and record things as I go along, but um, usually I kind of measure things out and make sure everything's good to begin with. So this is a mock-up I did. It's not done yet. Obviously I haven't even put the loop on here and um, just to try out what I ended up doing and I think it's pretty good so um, I like the basic construction of it so I'm gonna show you what I did and where I got these things and a lot of people that like to go to the dollar store probably already seen this this is just from the Dollar Tree I mean it's just a notepad and actually it's kinda cute when I opened it and noticed the lines are pink so I love it and it's already decorated so I don't really have anything that I'm sure if I look I have some paisley paper but that's gonna match this perfect so either you can decorate with the colors that are in there which I think is what I'll do we'll do some pinks and greens but this is just to show you and um, this is also a Pentel pen that came from the dollar store they come two in a pack for a dollar so same pen I used in the other tutorial oh, that I got in the other tutorial and there it is so I just like, you know close it up and decorate it more it has its pocket I don't have post-it notes to match that's the other issue so um, for this one so I scored it at half an inch um, here where the folds are they're half an inch and the book itself is pretty thick so that probably should have been different so it's gonna be different when I actually show you the tutorial It'll be three quarters of an inch okay um, so that's one thing you want to measure so how I started out is just measuring it the notebook uh, the notepad and then going around that okay so um, I want to show you some of the supplies I'll be using I'm gonna put that to the side this purple file folder came from a, a pack of file folders that I had bought at um, Staples. And I, they're kind of expensive, I mean, because it was like a hundred or however many of them is a lot, but they're jewel tones, what they call jewel tones. And so it came with this gorgeous purple, this beautiful burgundy, gray, I don't know how that's a jewel tone, but there's a gray, this gorgeous teal, I love it, and then this blue. So those came from there. I mean, obviously you can find file folders everywhere. Let me get this bag here. I went to the dollar store purposely to buy these things. I gave up shopping for Lent. All right, ladies, I do it every year. So for me, I bought these things because I'm doing a tutorial and I'm not gonna be buying other things that are just for fun for me, you know? So um, these I already had here at home, but I bought the notepads, okay? So I know, it's cheating. But anyway, they have these gorgeous notepads. Look at this. With this cute Eiffel Tower all in gold, like gilded, and it has the beautiful roses and the butterflies. So these are all obviously were a dollar, and it's covered all the way to the back too. I hate when my light thinks because it's shiny, the camera dims, sorry. So I went kind of crazy and grabbed a whole bunch of them. This one I'll be using in the tutorial because I really like it. I love this one too, I mean I love them all. And this basically has the same picture, but it's on the inside of this little thing, and then it has the roses and that gilding all over. It's gorgeous, I love them. Um, and just to be a glutton and to be shameful, and oh, I'm so sorry, I grabbed like eight of these, okay? So there's another one that's similar to the first one. This is similar to the one I just showed you. Uh, a couple of those. So I really like them. I think they're very really pretty. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to put it to the side. All from the Dollar Tree, okay? And to go along with them, they had pens. So how awesome is that? I'm going to put a pen in that coordinates, okay? So the pens have the roses, the writing, or just that same pink kind of color on the side. So I'm going to put a pack of pens over here. Um, and they also had the notepads, the smaller ones, the sticky pads with the little notes. Okay, so pretty much this is exactly the same as what was in the other kit. I'm telling you, I mean, except for that these have roses, they were almost exactly the same. Okay, I bought three packs of pens. Um, so I have these notes and they're all a little bit different. Like these have the red around them and then this has the flowers at the bottom with the little stickies. Um, so that one's slightly different. These are all the same, I think. Yeah, so I think this is the only one that was left that was kind of different. So I grabbed everything I could. So I'll choose from these two which ones I want to use for my book. So I'll put both of those packs to the side. Um, they also had that same style like the one I just showed you that had the paisley in the pink, but they had these gorgeous teals, which paired with this blue one looks awesome. Paired with this teal one, it looks awesome. Paired with the gray one, it looks really cool. So I'm really excited, and this is like the only one they had left, so there it is. I guess I'll be using the blue. Oh, I didn't say that actually, but I'm gonna show you. Um, what else? Oh, at the Dollar Store. These are all from the Dollar Store, okay? So the Dollar Tree, I know people are gonna ask, it came from the Dollar Tree. They had these that were three, um, a three pack, and these aren't pretty, I mean, they're just yellow whatever it is, but if you wanted, you can still add a pretty decorative paper over it, just like the other one, or just on this top part, or however, and that'll make it more decorative. But these three were for a dollar, right? So there's three in here. Of course, there's less than in the, the bigger pack that I had, the pads I bought. 
And they also had file folders. And these are like a bright yellow. Oh, Lord, I'm telling you, whenever this thing thinks it's shiny. They're just a manila color, okay? And these, you can use these. I'm just going to say they're not the best because they have like a grain to them. They're not real shiny. They're just kind of flat looking. So it's not the best. But I grabbed them anyway just to show you. Um, and I probably should, I don't even know why, I don't know why I grabbed them. Obviously, I can just say, hey, they have manila folders there. But they have manila folders, okay? Um, and then they have stickers that kind of go along with the paper pads. These aren't the same brand, but I thought, hey, I can actually use these to decorate, like, with the butterflies. And I can cut out my own butterflies, you know, so that's not a big deal. But I just really like these stickers. If they're pretty, so I grabbed those. All from the dollar store, okay? So from these folders, I'm going to choose to use this blue one. And only because I paired them up, and I think that really pops the blue in the wings, and it's gorgeous. I mean, I really like the way it looks with the teal, too. But that's that. I don't know. I just like the blue better. So I'm going to use that. Um, I'm going to use... Um, that notepad. We're going to choose our stickies, choose a pen. You're going to need a scoring board um, to score. And of course I have my Martha Stewart scoring board. It's right here. And it's all dirty and sticky and it's great. But there it is. And then um, I'm going to use to cut, I'm going to use the mat. Well my purple mat, I don't like cutting on this pink one. I'm going to cut on my mat and with a craft knife, okay? So, and then just a ruler, if you want to, uh, I'll tell you kind of how to measure things out. That way you'll have an idea when you make yours, just in case it's not the same one and you need different um, numbers, you know, to make it work. Um, one other thing I want to show you really quick is uh, like this one here, the one I made. It's obviously very plain. Um, you know, we're going to add flowers and punches and things. So you're going to need some punches. I'm going to, or your Cricut or your die cuts or whatever it is that you want to use to make punches with, um, like little flowers and things. Uh, I thought it was cute to use like this 8, is this 8 by 8? Yeah, this 8 by 8. Look at all these different things that are in here. This is really cute. It's doodling around by Duckets with a view. I don't know if they still sell it, but it has different months of the year type things. Or even to put this on there, since it's an organizer, how cute. This paper that has all the different months. Um, but of course, these don't coordinate with my um, notepad, so I'm not going to use these. But how cute would it be just to cut a piece, you know, whatever it is, and put it on the front, put another strip here, so decorate your uh, organizer that way. And I would use flat things. The other thing I thought to do was to punch the edges, but you can't really do that because we're putting like this piece in here to, um, it's kind of hard to see, to um, make it a little, sti a little stiffer uh, to reinforce it, the edge. So if you want to use something like this, you're going to have a very thin edge. That's all that's going to be the difference, okay? So just to keep uh, uh, that in mind, okay? So we're going to need a piece of ribbon. And a very small piece, maybe a four or five inches long piece of ribbon, and we'll get started, okay? 